Vestal reporting for duty. Please assume the position. If you've been following my channel for a while now, then you know I've been asking for this vehicle for a while. This is the VCAC Mephisto. It is basically the French equivalent to something like the M901. At least that's what I thought before I got my hands on it, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Anyway, France needs more support vehicles like this. Because, you know, it has plenty of MBTs and stuff like that, but it could really use some more ATGM vehicles, light tanks, especially stabilized light tanks. On the surface, this seems like it'd be very good. You know, it's got an unmanned launcher, it gets thermals, a stabilized gun sight, but the issue is the chassis that it's mounted on. Think about the M901. It uses an M113 chassis, right? That's not a very small vehicle, but you can still hide it behind rubble and other objects on maps, right? You can't really do that with this. Really, the most you can do is if you find like a very gentle slope somewhere, you can hide behind that. But because it's so tall, it basically has like 5 degrees of gun depression, effectively. Now, it is pretty maneuverable for a wheeled vehicle. Like, the turning circle is pretty good. It has a really bad reverse speed, so you can't really retreat all that well. And the profile is just huge. I think rifle caliber rounds can penetrate it as well, at least at close range. Things like 50 cals definitely can. It's got like 8mm of RHA in the front. That's one. I'm surprised that actually killed it. I've had really bad luck overpressuring Chinese vehicles. Chinese wheeled vehicles, I should say specifically. Oh. Oh, what is going on with that? What are you doing? That was very strange. Yeah, I don't know why. Hots just don't seem to overpressure light vehicles. I want... Oop, that's not good. We are probably going to die very soon. Why does it do that. I'm not moving, but it revs the engine. I'm going to see if I can pull back, actually. Yeah, we're not going to win, but we're getting kills at least. Oh. Yeah, it does take a pretty long time to reload. Now, this is a map where the Mephisto is uh, not going to do so well. Hots are not very fast. I mean, they're not like type 60 level, but still not great. Don't see anybody so far. There is an enemy tank over there, but I can't really engage it because I can't fire through the fence. There is a BMP2 behind us. Yeah, that's the problem with ATGMs in close quarters. Even if you fire first, you can trade. This does make me wish they would add the M901A3. Like, it's basically an M901, but it has tow 2 capability and a better transmission and engine. Which, you know, given the M113's off-road performance, would be very welcome, considering you can barely climb slopes sometimes. Uh, yep, we hit off-road and we came to a crawl. There's a dude there. I think it was just him. Unfortunately. Oh, I am blind. And someone's not happy that I'm up here calling Artie on us. Reload. Because if I fire and it doesn't kill in one shot, then I'm basically dead. Oh, there go the servers. I had a really bad instance of lag today. I'll have to show it, because I think I recorded it. Like, an R3 just went Gmod mode. It looks like we are tall enough to see over these. And we just broke our own gun. Yeah, we are all alone now. Yep, 
Yeah, our team just... Oh my god. Our team just disintegrated. I really don't know what his plan there was. He doesn't have a stabilizer. I think the x-ray on this is broken. It doesn't show you how much ammo you actually have. I guess this thing's saving grace is that the HOTs usually do a decent amount of damage. It's whatever. Oh. I am not a fan of the new engine noise. Actually, he's not making any- He only just started making engine noise. Does anyone know if Epic Thunder is working for this update? <laughs> I think I might have to use that. Doesn't he have top attack? Could have killed me very easily, I think. Unless it doesn't get it in stock. I think that's the first aerial ATGM kill I've had since they changed how ATGMs function. You know, now that gravity actually affects them and stuff. Where is this M163 at? Oh, I see him. He shot my missile out of the air. You know, the reload on this seems long, but when you think about it, 15 seconds for four missiles is pretty good. It's like loading four missiles in 15 seconds would be insane. But it feels like an eternity in game. Ow, that was so loud. Whenever I feel like a vehicle isn't very good, I just have to remember what the Type 60 was like. And then I just think, oh, it's not so bad. You know, if you have this in a lineup, you're not going to be spawning it in those less than ideal situations like cargo port or whatever. Did I break my wheels just by going off that slight jump? Two T114s. Um, okay. Oh my god. This... these buildings. I feel like the site shouldn't be as restricted as it is. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that. No, let's not. Let's not. I'm about to get bombed, aren't I? Or that. Yeah, I was dead either way. So yeah, my general impression is that the Mephisto is a good vehicle. It is just... one of the more situational ones in War Thunder. It's a solid backup vehicle. I wouldn't spawn it first, probably. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for vehicles you want me to cover, leave them in the comments. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.